Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the six trigonometric ratios in trigonometry. We have the sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let me give you the different, or the six trigonometric ratios of a right triangle in trigonometry. First, we have here the sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. We have here this right triangle. And as you can see, for the parts of the right triangle, this is your, your right angle. And opposite to your right angle is the hypotenuse. And these two angles are the acute angle. Ngayon, sa pagkuha ng trigonal ratios, kailangan muna meron kang reference or parang kinoconsider na acute angle. And here, uh, dito sa dalawa nating angle na to, or acute angle, we're choosing this angle theta to derive the six trigonometric ratios. Let's start with sine theta. That is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Dito muna tayo. To get the value of sine or the ratio of sine from this acute angle as your reference, the side opposite to it is the opposite side for the sine theta. And since this is the hypotenuse, walang magbabago sa position natin ang hypotenuse. It is always opposite to your right angle. Next, yung cosine natin is adjacent over the hypotenuse. For the tangent naman, opposite over the adjacent with respect to your angle theta. Now, for the cosecant, for you to easily memorize this one, consider mo that the cosecant is the reciprocal of sine ratio. As you can see, sine is opposite over hypotenuse and your cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. Next, your secant naman is the reciprocal of your cosine theta. This one is adjacent over hypotenuse and as you can see, this one is hypotenuse over adjacent. Lastly, your cotangent. This is the reciprocal of your tangent. We have the opposite over adjacent and your cotangent is adjacent over opposite. So what you need to do for me, my tip ko rito, is for you to memorize these three ratios and then eventually, you can memorize the remaining three ratios. Magagamit kasi natin to to answer certain problems like this one. So for example, this one. Find the six trigonometric ratios of the given right triangle. We are given the right triangle A, B, and C. Your B is the right angle. Okay? And then we are asked to find the six trigonometric ratios with respect to angle C or your angle theta. Okay? Now, how are we going to find the value or the ratio for sine, cosine, tangent? and the other remaining ratios. In our previous part of our example, remember, ha? your sign is opposite over hypotenuse. With respect to your angle C or angle theta, this one is the opposite side. Okay? And next, this one is your Hypotenuse. Hindi magbabagay yung person ng hypotenuse. This one is always opposite to your right angle. Since this one's your opposite, this is your hypotenuse, definitely this is your adjacent side. Now, since alam mo na yung, mga, uh, yung person ng opposite, adjacent, at hypotenuse, you're now ready to find the ratio of these ratios. Let's start with sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Your opposite is 9 over your hypotenuse, which is 15. As you can see, what you have here is 9 over 15. But in expressing the ratios, since this one is a fraction, you need to express your ratio into simplest form. 9 over 15 is equal to 3 over 5. And this is the answer for the sine C. By the way, guys, if... Sign, sign A naman ang papahanap sa atin, mag-iba yun, guys. Mag-iba yun dahil, if sign A, siningit ko lang ha, 
If sign na yung hahanapin mo, if sign na yung solve mo, this will be con the, the, considered as the opposite side. Itong part na to. Okay? Iba yung magiging value na ito mga to. Next, let's continue with cosine C. Cosine is adjacent over the hypotenuse. Your adjacent is 12. Your hypotenuse is 15. Simplify this. 4 over 15 is the same as 4 over 5. This is your cosine C. Next, tangent C. Your tangent is opposite over the adjacent. Your opposite is 9. Your adjacent is 12. Simplify. 9 over 12 is what? How many? Or what is the simplest form? That is 3 over 4. Okay? So, for the remaining 3 ratios, ang gagawin natin dito, hindi na natin kailangan pang kunin yung ano, um, ginawa natin sa sign, cos, and tangent. What we need to do, di ba sabi ko sa inyo kanina, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So, if your sine C is 3 over 5, definitely your cosecant C is 5 over 3. This is your cosecant C. For second, reciprocal of cosine, this is 4 over 5, reciprocal is 5 over 4. And lastly, for the cotangent, that is a reciprocal of your tangent, 3 over 4, reciprocal is 4 over 3. As simple as that. Okay guys, now, I hope na natuto na kayo sa mismo part nito dahil magkakaroon pa tayo ng another activity for this video. Let's continue. For this part naman, uh, you were asked to find the trigonometric ratio of each given right triangle. Pero hindi na lahat ng ano, hindi na lahat ng anim. Each triangle mayroon ng isang pinapahanap sa atin. Okay? Let's say, you're asked to find sine C. Nasaan ba sine C? Ito yung magiging reference mo. Okay? Now, since ito ay sine, that is opposite over the hypotenuse. This is your O. This is your hypotenuse. So that is 14, right? 14 over 50. Tama? Pero, pwede pa simplify yan. That would be 7 over 25. This is the answer for sine C. Punta naman tayo dito. We're asked for the sine Y. Yung Y natin, or angle Y natin is this. Same ratio, opposite over the hypotenuse ng sine. This is your opposite side, which is 32. And this is your hypotenuse, which is 40. Simplify mo lang to. Okay? The lowest term natin yung 30, 32 over 40. GCF is 8. So to, the lowest term of this one is 4 over 5. This is the value or the ratio of sine y. 4 over 5. Now let's move on with the third one. Tangent x. This is your x. Okay. Remember, your tangent is uh, opposite over the adjacent. This is your opposite. And this is your adjacent. So that is 20 over 21. Meron pa ba lowest term? Wala na. As is na si 20 over 21. Next, for the tangent B, same tayo kaso magiging reference natin itong angle ng tangent B. This is your opposite. This is your adjacent side. So for the tangent B, this is 30 over 40. Simplify natin, this is 3 over 4. And that's it guys. Now for this part, I want you to answer this one. And sana makita ko sa ating comment section, what is the ratio for the cosine C given this right triangle? So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to understand and memorize the six trigonometric ratios and how to find the ratio of each trigonometric ratio given a right triangle. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, 
It's me, Chergon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!